So the message version of the Bible for that last lesson from, from 1 John, it begins this way. It says, what marvelous love the Father has extended to us. Just look at it. We are called children of God. That's who we really are. <clears throat> this first John was laying out the immeasurable love we have been given. It's the equipment that we need to play the game that we call life. Now, I, I think for many of us, love plays sort of in the background of our everyday lives. But this week in particular, this week coming, <laughs> I think we need to be very intentional and move the equipment of love that we have been given into the foreground of our lives so that we can carry it with us and it can carry us through this week ahead. There was another John in another time who was also a, a strong advocate of the power of love being in the foreground of our lives. Not just playing somewhere in the background. He talked about it this way. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. There's nothing you can do that can't be done. Nothing you can sing that can't be sung. Nothing you can say, but you can learn how to play the game. It's easy. It is easy, and he, he's right. And he's right because of what that first John helped us to understand in this lesson. It's easy because the love that we have is a complete and totally free gift from God. We didn't make it or mold it. We don't have to go find it or refine it. The powerful, transformative gift of love is already at work in you and in me. It has already made us all children of God. The second John says it this way. Nothing you can make that can't be made. No one you can save that can't be saved. Nothing you can do, but you can learn how to be you in time. It's easy. child of God that you are, and they won't be able to see themselves as the children of God that they are either. It's not that they aren't, it's just that they haven't yet learned how to play the game, even though the game's easy. Maybe the people who dismiss the power of love do it because, well, they just can't believe that it could possibly be that easy. But regardless of why, folks like that spend much of their lives frightened and nervous about, well, everything. And because these days there is so much of that fear and anxiety out there in the world, I don't know about you, but I feel it rubbing off on the rest of us in a way that I have never experienced before. Even those of you who regularly carry love in the foreground of your lives, even those of you who on regular days really lean into the power of life in everything you do, even those of us who preach continually about the power of God's transforming love, even jokers like that, the preachers, I think we all seem to be in need of a reminder about the power of love this week. We all are in need of a boost to carry us through the week ahead. A reminder that there is nothing you can know that isn't known. Nothing you can see that isn't shown. 
that we are. And because of that, each of us has the grandest of titles attached to our names. Child of God. We all need this reminder this week because, as the first John once said, the world doesn't recognize us or take us seriously because it has no idea of who God is or, or what God's up to. We all need this reminder this week because as that second John once said, they, whoever they are, don't stand a chance because they can't beat love. Because all those old bits from religion and that about love being all powerful, it's true, you know. And that's the bit they can't do. They can't handle it. We all need a reminder this week because there are still those who can't handle a life lived out of love. And because of that, they seek to draw us into their chaos, into their hopelessness, down into anger and hatred and despair. So we need this week in particular to be reminded of what we know to be true. What we know is true is that on this side of this week ahead, we are children of God, formed from the dust of the stars with the creative power of divine love and named children of God. And on the other side of this lifetime, on the other side of this infinitely long COVID year, and on the other side of this week, no matter how long or short any of those things seem to go on, we will still be and we will always be children of God. And so take a deep breath and sing this mantra from the second John. Sing it with me throughout this coming week, throughout this coming year, throughout our lifetime to come. And remember, through it all, it really is all we need. <laughs> Yesterday, love is all you need. Love is all you need. 